If you're looking for one of the roomiest three-row family SUVs in America, you should definitely check out the new Toyota Grand Highlander. Sized between the smaller Highlander and the larger Toyota Sequoia, this actually has a bigger third row and more cargo room in the back than you'll find in Toyota's body-on-frame full-size SUV. In fact, if you want more room than this on the inside, you'd need to be taking a look at the limited selection of minivans in America or full-size SUVs like a Yukon or a Tahoe because again, even that Sequoia is gonna have less room inside than this. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is get comfortable up front because that sets the stage for all the rows that are behind. I'm six feet tall in case you're wondering, and I tend to prefer a little bit more of an upright seating position, but I'm certainly gonna go for something a little bit more relaxed now because the Highlander has all the room in this grand model. Now let's check out the back. Like the smaller Highlander, the Grand Highlander is available as either an eight passenger or a seven passenger vehicle. So two folks up front, three in the middle, three back there in the way back. The second row seats, like you'd expect in a three row vehicle, slide forward and backward, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the second row seat slid all the way backward on this side because I have about nine inches or eight inches of legroom left. Decent amount of headroom back here as well. Headroom is gonna be a little bit more limited if you get the large panoramic moonroof, but even again at six feet tall, this is still pretty comfortable. If you have taller kids or you routinely put taller folks in the back, you probably wanna skip that option. On the other hand, Look how cushy these second row seats are. They're definitely very thickly padded, much more thickly padded than average because there's so much room going on in here, it didn't seem to matter much. Unfortunately, I don't have any child seats with me out here in Hawaii, but let's talk about how they'll fit in the Grand Highlander if you do at home. We have two sets of latch anchors here in the second row, regardless of whether you get the bench or the captain's chairs, and then there's one back there in the third row. This is not one of the few three row crossovers in the US that will let you leave a child seat latch anchored into place and still tilt and slide the seat forward for access to the third row. On the other hand, as you can see, you can slide this seat quite far forward, even with one of those larger child seats in place, and then we get a pretty reasonable opening back here behind it. So you can access the third row if you have a forward-facing child seat in here. A rear-facing one might be a little bit trickier. And yes, an adult can squeeze through there, and we have more room in that opening than you do in a Honda Pilot. Now, if, for instance, I was an adult hopping back here and I were to slide this seat all the way back, it doesn't go as far back as this seat that's all the way back in its tracks. It ends up stopping a little bit short of that. I don't really find that too much of a problem because if I had a child seat there, you might want the kid closer to you up front anyway. And with the seat in that natural stopping position, you'll see how much leg room I have back here in the third row, about six or seven inches. But what's a more realistic position? That second row person, they're probably gonna slide it all the way back to be the most comfortable. You'll notice I still have a decent amount of legroom back here. If I put that armrest down, I still have about two inches of legroom. But perhaps more importantly for adults and comfort, this seat bottom cushion is not slammed all the way to the floor. And it's in the same position whether you get the hybrid or the hybrid max drivetrain. When it comes to headroom figures, the Grand Highlander is a little bit behind the Honda Pilot. But you'll notice that even in this position, my head's just barely touching the ceiling. It's still pretty comfortable. And I think I would actually prefer this seat was a little bit more upright than it was in that position, giving me actually a little bit more third row comfort. When it comes to third row comfort, the whole is more than the sum of its parts, oddly enough. It's not just about legroom or headroom figures in the third row. Some of it has to do with the design of the third row seat and the height of the seat bottom cushion off the floor. This is definitely softer than average, certainly softer, wider, higher off the ground than the Highlander with a seat back cushion that is certainly higher as well. That's something you'll really notice if you step up into the next level of comfort, say something like a Jeep Wagoneer. That seat bottom cushion is even bigger, even more padded, even higher off the ground. Even though its headroom figures aren't necessarily that much more than the Grand Highlander, it will certainly be a more comfortable third row. Now, speaking of seat belts, this does come out of the ceiling for the center seat position. The latch anchors are over here on the passenger side of the third row. They're kind of hidden behind these little slots right back here, but still pretty easy to use and a rational design. Having a child seat back here in the third row, that's a pretty long stretch from that second row door though. You'll really notice how far the distance is back here because of the size of this vehicle. If I move that seat forward, uh, you'll notice I'm, my knees actually are still behind the opening of that door. Definitely different than we find uh, average in this segment, which is why we have these grab handles on the outside to help you get in and out of the third row a little bit more easily. Back here, we find some very big cup holders, USB charge points on each side and air vents back here for the third row passengers. 
For complete 2024 Grand Highlander specifications, set your reminders for May 30th, 2023, because that's when I will know all of the details when it comes to the second row and third row room. We already know third row headroom and third row legroom figures, but in a vacuum without knowing exactly how much room we have going on in the middle, it's a little bit tricky to talk about exactly how much bigger this is than the Pilot. But sitting inside, it is unquestionably larger and more accommodating than the Pilot. You will really notice that in the second row with the amount of legroom you get behind the first row, and the third row, of course, with those seats all the way back, there's still enough room back there for a six foot tall adult. And again, much more comfortable in the arrangement and the seating position for that third row. Now, some folks might not like how wide these doors open. They don't open to 90 degrees like you do find in something like the Pilot. Those open a little bit more, but the reality is these doors are bigger than the ones that we find in the Pilot. And that's how you can actually squeak back there into the third row with a child seat latch anchored into place. Now again, for complete details, including the way that it drives, the way that it handles, and everything you might want to know about the newly available 362 horsepower hybrid max drivetrain, set your calendar for May 30th, 2023. And then I will see all of you then with even more details if you have one of these on your shopping list.